Hello Flight Simmers, welcome back to the channel and dang, look at this beauty, the SAS A320, the Phoenix of course, after the update featuring the IAE engines. Uh, so we are taking this aircraft or this engine version um, on a second spin after our, our uh, kickoff with Aegean. Now we are flying Scandinavian Airlines from Copenhagen down to Salzburg, which is... Uh, yeah, I guess very cool routing. Approaches into Salzburg also are always very fun to fly. Um, so yeah, and this is uh, morning hours here in Copenhagen. It's 9, 9.15 a.m. morning time. And uh, look at this, how this aircraft looks in the morning sun here. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, was one of the hardest de decisions I ever had to take uh, between the old livery and the new one. I think both of them are very cool. I finally decided to go for the old one. Um, the reason is, I think the new one was introduced back in 2019, so that's now five years ago. And um, as far as I know, aircrafts get repainted every seven years or so. So I figured that the old livery is not going to be around for much longer, maybe like two more years tops. Um, yeah, and this finally... Uh, made me choose the old livery for today because I really like these red engines and uh, I guess going forward we have we have more opportunities to fly the new livery of course but um, yeah this looks so so good and we are in um, for some uh, good sceneries as well this one being the flight Tampa scenery in Copenhagen um, which is absolutely stunning and then down in Salzburg we are featuring the RD preset scenery which is very new just a couple of weeks old um, so yeah, can't can't wait to get down there, and um, we are flying on Vetsim, but I believe for now we are on a Unicom. And look at this windsock, guys! Holy guacamole! That's gonna be an interesting departure out of what I believe is zero for right in action today. Crazy! That's a bit of wind. Um, all right, so before we jump inside the flight deck, I quickly want to show you guys one thing. Uh, I'm pulling up my Discord uh, server right here. Um, so we have, um, or rather Yannick, he did most of the work, uh, thanks to Yannick uh, at this point. Uh, so Yannick reworked our flight request um, channel. So we had an old flight request channel, but it was kind of messy in there and lots of good ideas, but I didn't really uh, use it um, that much to, to determine my next uh, full flight videos. Um, but we, si we decided to rework it all, so there's a new channel you can put in um, your favorite flights and then you are encouraged to upvote or give a thumbs up to any other um, routing or idea you might uh, want to see on the channel. And then uh, every yeah once in a month we will determine the winner, which is going to be the one with the most likes of course, and then this video will eventually find its way uh, onto the uh, channel. So that's the idea, head over to the Discord, the link is down below in the descriptions in case you have not been there yet, and uh, then you are very much welcome to put in your flight request or also upload other ideas. Right, so that's that. We are this morning starting from cold and dark, so you see basically nothing going on around the aircraft. And uh, so I would say let's kick things off. All right, so here we are, stand Bravo 15, cold and dark. So let's fire things up. We are not doing the security checks. I usually don't do it just because of uh, time reasons. So we don't uh, take too much time getting everything ready. Um, oxygen crew supply is coming on. Crowd control is coming on for the recorder. Then we hit on our um, IRSs or ADIRs rather. Starting with one, then number two, that's on battery, and then doing number three as well. Um, okay, this comes to auto, nav, and logo. We can go system two today just for the fun of it. This goes to armed, non smoking to auto, and this completes the overhead flow. Now, first things first, we should get uh, all the boarding going and everything like that. 
So going to the AOC menu, flight in it, request. Heading over to the EFB. Mass and balance. Have I loaded the flight? No, I have not. Yeah, timing is a bit inaccurate, but that's uh, no worry for us. Let's see. Now it's 8.18 Zulu. Maybe we can depart... Yeah, scheduled time of departure. I think real world flight is 9.30, which is 8.30 Sulu. Oh. 11 minutes. That sounds good to me. Load aircraft. A GSX, please. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load air. Okay, everything on its way. That's good. I think that should be fine. FMGC, of course, flying the IAE's um, Victor 2000, which is a bit of an odd name because, or um, well, 2500, I think, is the, the the right name because it provides 25,000 pounds of thrust in the sort of basic version. But yeah, the full name, of course, is a bit different. Um, okay, in a request. Fuel truck is in position. Fuel truck is in position. Just double checking. Yeah. Okay, but this is uh, looking good. Okay, let's check out our uh, briefing. All right. So flight time down to. Uh, um, Salzburg, one hour and 15 minutes. Alternate's gonna be Vienna. Um, we have a zero fluid at 58.8. Fairly heavy. I believe that's uh, sort of a holiday destination for the uh, Scandinavian people. So they uh, might bring along some, some baggage, even some skiing gear, I guess. And um, to do what else do we want to look at? I think that's not much to look at other than the weather for the arrival, which might be quite interesting. Um, so we have for the departure... Oh yeah, holy cow. 080 at 24 gusting, 36. And that's some strong winds. 1011 is the ultimate for the arrival. 150 at 10. Okay, that's uh, so we are going going to land into southerly direction. Uh, the landing towards the north is a bit more interesting, but uh, this will do as well. And weather down there is very nice indeed. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so 1011. Let's put this in here. And then let's see, we are flying Scandinavian 7245 on a cost index of 12, initially 370, I believe. Flight plan, departure, 04 right. On to where do we have it? Copenhagen traffic, Swiss 175 Delta, holding short zero for Salo right departure. We're waiting for the parting A320. There is only one Salo, which is the one Alpha. That's good. And then arrival, and that's going to be ILS 15 on, I think it's the Badir arrival. Yeah, Badir. Via. Salzburg VOR, I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Secondary copy active in it. Uh, yeah, we can get the winds. And then we put in our data. So we expect a block fuel of 6.6. .6. Um, flying to our alternate Vienna will take us 1.6 since we are always rounding up. Alternate, and then let's see if we have the 
initial load sheet that is 0 fewer 58.9 and then we will leave it here so we know it's not finished yet all right as quick as that really then we will have a look at the charts as well so I believe that's the I one for the idea. departure Um, out heading 037 and then it's an RNAV departure to Zala, so I guess we can take it direct somewhere along the routing to Salo. And initial altitude is flight level 70. Alright, I guess uh, we will need to wait a little bit for uh, GSX to complete uh, the boarding and then we should be good to go. Um, Alright guys, so GSX had a bit of a hang up there, so um, I did uh, position reset and then an instant load and then I forgot to hit the record again, so now I already did the takeoff calculation, but I think it's not a biggie. Um, so out of uh, zero 04 right, flap 1, trim up 0 0.2 and then flex temperature 64, 142, 142, 143, that's the idea we have apu running in the meantime we're on apu bleed seat belts are on we have completed the cockpit preparation checklist and so let's make sure everything is closed like no not like that ah that is closing Okay, let's see. And I believe we have a custom GSX, so we want to go pushback position. That's P1. I think P2 is quite nice. Yeah, there's no traffic in there, so that's good. All right. Then let's put on the fuel pumps beacons are coming on and this should maybe do nothing since I shut down GSX in the meantime yeah okay so this is not starting the pushback but that's okay Hello, Captain. oh Where it did start it okay button. never mind then everything good Okay, so that's on uh, 1000 TA. What else? Before start checklist then. Parking brake is set, takeoff speeds and thruster inserted windows are closed on both sides and beacons are on before start checklist is completed. Copenhagen traffic of Taiwan, the killer joining uh, right now, the localizer running 0 for Okay, we are pushing, that's very cool. Ah, also another pushback over there. So, we can fire up and uh, let's start with engine number 2, so we can enjoy the fuel on the engine.
Let's start off engine number one. Pushback is going very well. Yeah, and then for the taxi, let's get this ready in the meantime. Um, so I guess we will taxi straight out to Alpha, cross runway 1 2. And then Charlie and Bravo. Alright. Alright, so we have two good engine starts. Start a back to normal. AP bleed off, AP master off. Max auto break, arm spoilers, flaps one, flag control check. Full right, full left, full up, full down, and the rudder full left and full right. Test of traffic 1501, point runway 04, right, runway after starts checklist, anti is not required, ECAM status is check pitch trim. Oh, that's not set. I knew I forgot something. Up 02 and rudder trim is neutral. After start check is completed. See taxiing? No, not yet. Okay. Copenhagen traffic, Scandinavian 7245 is texting for runway 04 right via Alpha Charlie and Bravo Copenhagen. Okay. Thin air just taking off. So we. Ah, is GSX gone? Yeah, she's walking away. Okay. Perfect. So let's go. And as always on these engines, we are start rolling on idle thrust. And by the way, uh, this is because, oh, he is texting actually, oh, okay. Um, this is because uh, the idle configuration for the IAE engines is simply higher compared to the idle for CFM engines. Um, that's, that's essentially the only difference. And there is, so Phoenix have modeled the high idle version. There is, like after some time, the engine manufacturer also provided a low idle version um, because airlines were about complaining this um, because they had uh, more brake wear and also used a little bit more fuel on this high idle. So then after some time they developed a um, second version of the engine running on lower ground idle. And if I remember correctly, this will be developed by Phoenix going forward, if I remember correctly. Copenhagen traffic, I want to kill a runway to your phone left, evacuated via Alp. Okay, we are getting here. Um, some aircrafts on the approach, I'm not quite sure if they are both on zero for left. I think they should be, theoretically. Um, so, transponders TARA, we have the weather radar and predictive wind shear on. Still need to do the TO config test. Also need to run the taxi checklist. Flag controls are checked, flap setting is config 1 plus F. Radar and predictive wind shear on and auto. Engine mode selector normal and ECMA mode take off no blue. Taxi checklist completed. Okay, Castrop traffic, Scandinavian 7245 is lining up uh, 04 right, Castrop. Right. Um, there was one departure ahead of us. I think he should be gone by now. Yeah, he's airborne. Maybe we need to wait a few more seconds before we are ready to go. Castrop traffic, can 1501. Uh, passing altitude 1,700 feet, uh, climbing flatbed 370 uh, on the Lango to Alpha Watch.
All right, here we are. Okay, lineup checklist. Take off runway uh, 04 right is identified. TKS is TAR and PEX 1 and 2 are on engines. And I would say we are ready to rock and roll. Let's go then. Castro traffic, Scandinavian 7245 is departing runway 04 right. Okay, let's move, ladies and gentlemen. Timer, chrono. So I have learned, also through Yannick, that we stabilize at 1.05 for these engines. So there we go. Man, flag 64 SS and runway auto thrust blue. Now let's see. That's this is going to be some crazy wind from the right hand side. I can feel it very much so on the pedals. 100 knots. It's gonna be interesting on rotation. So that's V1. <laughs> v Rotate. Yeah, okay, okay, sort of, sort of. Wow, that's, that's bumpy as hell. Holy cow. Wow, pause the freight, gear up. Wow, that's really bumpy. I am quite happy that we are not landing here in Castro today. Wow, that was quite something. Okay, now it seems to be a bit more stable, the air. Okay, climb power. Right. Okay, let's go autopilot. Castle Travis, Scandinavian 489, clear of runway 04 left. Castle. Bit of clean up. Okay, hardly building up speed. Okay, flaps up. I really like the engine sound. Okay, let's see. I think we will just leave it on Elna for now and then maybe after this wave and we can go direct solo. Yeah. This is cool, coming through the clouds. Just looking at the temperature, I think we don't need anti ice. We are just fine for now. Okay, guys. I think this completes our departure out of Copenhagen. That was windy, that was really windy. Quite uh, happy that we don't have conditions like this in... Uh, Salzburg later on. Okay, so catch you later guys and thanks for joining me on the departure.
Alright folks, welcome back for our arrival into Salzburg and this actually looks quite nice uh, descending below the cloud cover and now we can see the edge of the Alps coming up in front and uh, then Salzburg is just straight ahead. I believe it's this valley we are heading for. Um, so it's going to be very straight in the rival. That is so cool. Yeah, back to Unicom. Unfortunately, other than a short period of, of Munich Raider, we did not have ATC coverage, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay for us, of course. And um, yeah, now passing through flight level 135. Let me quickly walk you through our plan for the arrival. So we are flying the Bardet arrival, uh, which is Bardet into uh, Salzburg VOR, and then from Salzburg VOR. Quick right hand turn to Achet and then onto the final approach for ILS 15. Um, yeah, normal ILS approach. As I've mentioned before, the uh, arrival on the opposite uh, direction is usually much more fun with a visual um, and also a circle to land procedures available. Uh, but yeah, we gotta we gotta play according to the rules, of course, for this landing. We can uh, double check the weather. Um, so let's refresh. Yeah, 140 at 10. So we should definitely be landing on runway 15. There's no way around that. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Just double checking if I have the correct data in here. 140 at 10. 15 degrees. We're going to do a flap full landing. And now we can keep descending as low as 4000. Right, but landing into 1.5, we of course need to be aware of the missed approach procedure, since then we need to do a very quick left hand turn and uh, staying clear of all the mountains uh, surrounding us of course. Uh, so just climbing ahead to 2 miles, Oscar um, Echo Sierra, which is the localizer, and then left turn, um, eventually back to the VOR, holding at 6000. So that's uh, the plan for a missed approach, which we hopefully do not need, but it's always very important to be aware of uh, what we need to do. And yeah, this is also quite important. So we need to do a 25 degree bank angle at a maximum speed of 165. So it's a very, very tight turn in case we need to go around. Okay. Other than that, just passing flight level 100 right now, which is also transition altitude coming into Salzburg, I believe. So going local 9903, which is very low altimeters here today. And uh, yeah, for the time being, it's still quite bumpy. Hopefully this uh, calms down a little bit, getting closer to Salzburg. And I believe this might already be the runway we are seeing there. Yeah, so it's not far, and uh, we will be there quite soon. Okay, coming back to profile, for whatever reason, we have ended up a little bit high, um, although we were spot on before. But yeah, now we're back on profile, and now we need to decelerate. Let's see, only 15 miles out. Not very far. We are getting there. Let's uh, do a quick Unicom announcement right now so we got this uh, out of the way. Salzburg traffic, Scandinavian 7245 is turning final for ILS runway 15 Salzburg. Okay, flap one, speed checked, flaps one. See, I think we should be fine without speed brakes now. Let's go approach. Hopefully we can capture. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. This goes to 6,000. Oh, come on. Give me 200 knots so I can go flip 2.
Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Flip two. Cabin crew must now be seated for landing. Thank you. Wow, look at this wing flex. Oh, look at the flaps going in the wind. That's so cool. You can actually see this on the real thing as well. Okay, let's drop the gear. Not sure why we are coming in super fast. Uh, but that's too fast for me. So we will go gear down. And on this one, I will try to remember uh, what Yannick always says. Yannick always says I should flare less and later. Just a tiny little bit of flare is good enough for this aircraft. And I know he's right, it's just really hard for me to do sometimes, <laughs> for whatever reason. Also depending on the aircraft, the last one in the 777, that was pretty nice. But uh, yeah, let's, let's see if I can finally get a good one in the A320 as well. Wow, it's bumpy, holy cow. Come on, I want to smooth the rival into Salzburg, it's tricky enough. Okay, flaps full. Landing checklist. Ikememo landing no blue, landing checklist is completed. And, 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 I'm thinking, but I think I will definitely keep the auto throttle in there. Since it's so bumpy. Alright, let's see. Following the flight director for now. Ooh. Ah, this old buck is coming back, I remember. quickly switching to DLSS it's just much smoother compared to uh, the TAA I think it's called the other rendering which I usually use yeah I'm not sure if the runway looking like this is actually what it looks like in real life it might also be missing textures it's always a bit of an issue when the VRAM is, uh, is close to maximum usage. Anyhow, let's focus on the landing now. Looking good for now. Right on profile. Continue. Still a little bit bumpy. Come on, there we are. Oh, legs. Legs reverse, reverse green diesel. Alright. No, that was okay. It was just, it felt like a little bit of too much flare, but there was actually just a little bit of an input lag there. No, I think this one worked quite okay. That's not too bad. Okay, welcome to Salzburg, guys. Look at this scene with the mountains back there. That's so cool. I love it. Okay, let's take a right here on Lima and then we will exit back to the apron. Okay, slowing down for the turn. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin crew will shortly be TA right here, then we can switch those fellas off. We ask that you remain seated until the fasten seat belts 
Cool. Hey, so stand whiskey five, that's ours. Oh, this aircraft picks up so much speed, it's crazy. Okay, a little bit further. There we oh, spot on. Not too bad. Are we getting a dance for that? No, there's a small bow, but no dance. That's disappointing. Okay, APU is running. APU bleed, beacons, seat belts, fuel pumps. Deboarding is starting. That's perfect. External power. Is there right away? Cool. Parking checklist. Parking brakes or chocks are set. Engines are off. Winglets are off. Fuel pumps are off. Parking checklist is completed. Okay, guys. Here we are. And um, yeah, I quickly rebooted the uh, the sim because I uh, yeah these legs were getting really bad. I think it's because I'm running the sim update 15 beta, which is um, yeah kind of giving me a couple of performance issues lately. But um, yeah, I wanted to take a quick look around because I am quite curious because if I'm not mistaken, back there, that's the, or oh, maybe that's a little bit uh, super, super fast. Um, that's the Red Bull hangar. And if I'm not mistaken, that's where they have the DC-6, I think it is. Ooh, wow, even some Formula One cars. I did not know that, holy cow. Wow, even some visitors. I know absolutely nothing about fighter jets. I have no idea what this is. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool stuff. I have not been there yet, but uh, I think that's definitely a place to go sometime uh, as a aviation enthusiast. It's over here. Okay, another jet. Yeah, really cool. Really, really nice. Uh, good scenery work, as always, from Arctic presets. Uh, yeah, fun little terminal. Oh, what's going on in here? Is it like a nice uh, dinner party or something? <laughs> okay, I can see there's lots of uh, fun little things to uh, discover around here. Anyway, we will leave it here, and um, thank you so much for tuning in, as always, and thanks for joining me on this uh, second um, Phoenix flight after the big update, and uh, yeah, I will see you around on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.